Report is sponsored by Charter. The Love Doctor is joining us this morning, and we're talking about online dating. Dr. Misty Smith, thanks for being with us again. Thank you very much. So with online dating, everybody wants love, and it's the easy, simplest way people are doing it now, but there are some precautions we need to make, right? There truly are. Online dating can be a lot of fun. It can be stressful, <laughs> but it can also be very dangerous. So you have to make sure that you're being safe when you are putting your name out there and your picture out there. So I just wanted to go over a few safety tips mm -hmm. for everyone. And the first one that I want to mention is be careful of photos and identifying information. We all think, okay, we're not going to put our address on Match.com, but we need to be even more cautious, especially with photos, because there's Google image search now. Definitely. So people can take your images that you're putting on Match, and they can Google image search them. And if those are the same images you have on Facebook or Instagram or any social media site, then they found all of the information that you have on all of those sites as well. They're able to track that information to yes. you physically. Yes. Know where you are, knock on your doors. Exactly. You're and technically, potentially they could because if we're using Instagram and Facebook, sometimes we are posting things that actually put our exact location on them. So sometimes mm -hmm. we're posting and linking ourselves to our home. So other things to be aware of is, you know, don't give out birth dates. People think it's fun. How old are you? When's your birthday? Don't give your exact birth dates. Don't give your last name until you know people. Don't give your phone number until you know them well enough. Don't say what neighborhood you live in, um, what school your children go to, Very what kind good. of car you're, you drive, um, where you work. All of those things are identifying information and things that people can track you. They can track you to your home, they can track your kids, they can track you to your work. So be extremely cautious. And you also say ask a lot of questions. Ask a lot of questions. Watch for red flags, play the detective. If, if somebody's, you're talking to somebody, Google image search them. Mm. Maybe they've been cautious, maybe they've not. If they look too good to be true, it might be that they are, you know, they might show up to be a Calvin Klein model or a Victoria's Secret model, and that's probably because that's a scammer. Um, you need to make sure that if they are asking for money or if they are um, asking to send you packages to your home or take packages, send packages to them, run. Stop talking immediately. Look for things like misspelled words. A lot of scammers use a ton of misspelled words in their emails. Mm. We see that often. and. Words like destiny or fate, those are people who are trying to lure you in really quickly. And ask them a lot of questions and ask them those questions again and again and mm -hmm. make sure that you actually know when stories aren't adding they're up. They're trying to make that emotional connection. They know that you want love desperately right. and so they're trying to do that to you. Exactly. And a lot of times we fall for it because we want love. It's what everybody longs for so much most of the time. Um, and be extremely cautious on first dates. You know, we talk about make sure that you tell someone where you're going. Yeah. Well. Be more cautious than that. Mm. You know, tell a friend, tell a couple of friends, family members, tell them exactly where you're going, time, date, location, everything. Make sure that you link them to the person you're meeting's profile mm. on whatever dating website. Any information you have on them, make sure you link them up. Give them that person's phone number. Chances are, if you're meeting for a first date, you probably already have that person's number. So give that number to someone else so that it's potentially trackable in case something happens. Make sure that you set a time to call and check in also. And always meet in a public place. Definitely. Okay? Um, coffee, drinks, make sure there are tons of people around and never let them walk you home. And don't meet near your home because it makes it much easier for them to track you. They seem like very easy things to do, but a lot of people make mistakes in not heeding to these simple things. They let yes. their emotions run away with them, in, all for the sake of finding love. Right. We get caught up in the moment, and we forget to use those, those things that we've been taught, and we do know, and we just get carried away. And it's unfortunate, but if you, if you do your research, you can scare yourself a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, another tip that I recommend to people is carry protection, and I'm not necessarily talking about a gun unless yep. you just carry those yep. but pepper spray tasers we can all get those above us you know a certain age that's usually within dating range and they're easy to use and they make sure you stay safe dr. Misty Smith with great dating advice as always good to have you here thank you so Appreciate much it